Well, the West Coast travel is always a, a little tricky and, and takes a day or two to uh, get back to uh, normal. But usually uh, by today, you're uh, really dialed in on the, uh, the, the next challenge, and that's New England uh, at home. It's, uh, you know, it's a tricky game. They're a, a very talented team. I think they got much better over the last few months, um, both in you know realizing kind of who they are, and also with some of the profiles, some of the, the some of the the boys they brought in. Uh, you know, for me, Heal is one of the best players this league has ever seen. Uh, I have uh, unfortunately I've been on the uh, he, he tortured us at DC for quite a while. And uh, just a, a, a lovely player to watch and, and, a, and a very effective player in this league. So, you know, dealing with him is uh, not an easy task, but um, one we'll have to try to do to the best of our abilities. Um, I, you know, again, it's just an opportunity for us to try to move up right now. The playoffs are there. That's great. But now you uh, kind of reset uh, your goals and, and the the – moving up in the table right now to put ourselves in a good spot uh, for the postseason <clears throat> if we continue to go for for home field uh, situations is is obviously the the priority right now thanks for that starting the room with Jorge. coach good morning All right uh, you, you play against the new england team one that you haven't faced in just over four years and one that the dynamo hasn't faced in, in, in two years uh, just what have you what do you remember about new england and well, yeah, I don't know if the last four years are relevant to this team. Uh, I don't know if the last twenty-something years where I've been going against them has any relevance to them uh, as well. It's a new coach. Uh, it's a coach that I know very well uh, and have a lot of respect for. All right, guy, I gotta go. I'll call you later today. All right, Glenn. See ya. Uh, it's a. Um, but you know, again, my um, all we can do is really focus on this team and, and give as much attention to them over the last month, uh, and uh, you know, check out their weaknesses, check out their strengths, and, and and try to figure out the right game plan for the guys to have some success. But uh, this is a very very tricky game. Uh, they'll be desperate uh, as they're fighting still potentially in the playoffs. Uh, and uh, and that's a dangerous thing. So we have to make sure our our, our focus and energy is is equally as desperate uh, to to win a home game uh, and to move up and put ourselves in the right position. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's one we're looking forward to. We'd like to respond after a loss. You know, that's something everybody preaches. We're no different. You know, you'd like to um, some of that tension that comes from a loss. Hopefully, will help us and uh, let us put our our best foot forward Wednesday. When do we have 31 shots? When did we have 31 shots? In the last three games. Uh, okay. We've only produced two goals. Yeah. Yeah. We, we, we work on it. We've been working on it for since January 1st, how to score goals for this team. And, um, you know, as we go through the season, that we have – moments and games where we, uh, you know, we, we go a little dry on, 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 the, on the goal. So I've answered this question a million times. It's it's making your own luck. It's uh, more hard running in the box. It's better quality service. It's making the right decision. Maybe times it's not right to go and get a shot from outside the 18. It's the extra pass. Uh, uh, it's the switch of play. It's then switch of play again to get higher percentage looks. Uh, it's numbers in the box. It's uh, it, you know, it's first post running. It's all these things that add up, and then you got to score the goal. If you do all that right, you then you get a chance, and you got to put the ball in the net. So this is there's there's no there's no one answer to this. Everybody wants one. How do you score goals? Uh, you know, we're doing fine. We, we've gone through months where we've been scoring a lot of goals, and it's been good. And you go through little dry spells. Mm. That's who we are. It's you know we're we're about the same as last year as far as goals to goals against. Uh, it, it's it's a, a similar output 
and um, you know I think we're a little less than last year at this point, and we're uh, but we've given up uh, fewer goals, so it's a little bit of who we are, and we're going to have to be more efficient and, and get better and more cutthroat going uh, on the offensive end. The good news is we're still a pretty damn good defensive team, and everyone focuses. It's just so funny it, today's game. It's just if you don't score goals or you don't score enough goals, uh, you get criticism. It's like, how about you know giving credit to the defensive? Uh, you know, um, side of us and, and that being the narrative. Uh, so it's a, sometimes it's a little bit of lack of appreci appreciation for defending. Uh, but we can, we can be better. We can more cutthroat. Ponce uh, back in the fold here um, uh, being available will help. Uh, you know, when, when Hector gets back, that, that's going to help us as well. So uh, missing a few pieces. Uh, they're coming along. We'll make final decisions today of, of you know how they if they fit into the game or uh, if they do what what minutes uh, we do. But uh, they're uh, they're they're very 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 close, uh, if not there. All right, Dustin, go ahead. Hey, man. Dustin. I, I, we don't juggle with it, you know. Uh, we, 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 we go with data and facts, and I rely on my sports science department uh, trainers and our doctors, and they'll tell me exactly what the recipe is. And we got a good crew here, and, and they'll, they'll give me that. I will not fear, you know. I, I, I guess I juggle it by listening to uh, the experts on that stuff. Not necessarily. You know, whenever you take a, you know, a, a certain player out, very rarely do you have a a, a like for like, a true like for like. Uh, so whether it's uh, you know you're bringing a different forward or a different midfielder or backs, uh, it changes it a little bit, uh, and and maybe you start to think about the partnerships around that player. Uh, more more so than if, if you did if you had a, a Griffin who's played a lot of games and he's played with a bunch of different guys, um, so you do start to think about the attributes of whoever's going to replace him and who you would put next to him. But uh, we, we got enough backs. Uh, we, we'll, we'll figure that part out. We got enough different types of options, uh, and we think we have a good plan to fill it. But uh, we'll, we'll see, and uh, we can always adjust throughout the game if it's um, if it's not, you know, what what we we thought it was going to be. Sam, go ahead. Hi, Sam. Yeah, um, I'm not saying congratulations for that play of uh, qualification and appearance. Thank you, Sam. What's our relevance? What's our what's our relevance in this city? Um, no, I said, um, uh, I said, um, looking at the achievement that you've made with this team in those two mm -hmm. those two player back to back, one came from the MLS Cup finals last time out, right? And when you look at when other teams, other sports teams in the city make play of just one time many seasons, we we'll see the excitement is generated. Yeah, and. The, the playoff qualification for this team didn't generate that excitement when I look at it. Do you think they have been given 
Yeah, accolades, there are flowers in the scheme of things. Flowers. I, I understand. I understand your question, uh, Sam. I, it's a good one, Sam. I, I, uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I, I, I don't want any, but the, I, I do want the organization to get more flowers. I love that. I love that term. I'd love for the players to get more flowers in in this region and and have more awareness and more butts in the seats, as I've spoke about, more presence in and around the city, uh, people wearing more Houston Dynamo gear uh, all around town, like I see with the Astros and the Texans, and uh, that's part of our challenge here, Sam. And we we know that the only way we can control that uh, or what we can do here on the sporting side to control that is to just keep pushing and try to win because people like winners and people will get on board when you win and you hold trophies. Um, so that's our job. That's our job to, uh, to, to increase our awareness and, and get more flowers because playoffs is good, but maybe we need to do something different because of who we are and where we're at uh, in our cycle to get those flowers. Does that make sense? Playoffs isn't good enough. We have to do more. We have to hold trophies. We have to ch try to, uh, uh, you know, push to, to the top to get, uh, to get more awareness. So, but that's where we focus on. That's our challenge. As far as, you know, accolades, you know, I, I don't know. We're, we're, we're doing okay. We're, we're still building something. I think we're excited about what we're building here and we're happy that we've been in the postseason to, to, uh, two years in a row because we've talked about since the day I got here about sustaining it, not just having a year where you go to the uh, you know conference finals and, and lift a trophy. That can happen. I've been in this low enough where you can have a year where lightning strikes. But the teams that really stay there, the Philadelphia unions that are always in the postseason, Seattle's, um, uh, LAFC, these are the teams that stay there and always put themselves in these positions. So that's that's what we strive for. And then, you know, you give yourself uh, more chances for that lightning to strike. Well, I appreciate that. I wish you all the best on Wednesday. Thanks, sir. All right, Joe, go ahead. Hey, Ben. Hi, who's um, it? Who's Joey. it? Joey. Is, is there any extra difficulty coming towards the end of the season playing a team against like New England who are really just fighting for their lives in this? They pretty much maybe almost have to win out to make the postseason. New players fighting for jobs, coaches fighting for jobs. Is that a question? Is it more difficult? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. These aren't easy. These are not easy games. If you're looking at the standings, oh look, look where New England's at, right? Um, but I, you know, that that's it. That's we're, we're professionals. Uh, these guys, uh, we're, we're at home. Uh, there's going to be a good crowd, good energy, uh, and we hopefully we have the mindset of desperation, uh, the same type of desperation that they have. And there's no reason why we shouldn't. Yeah, it's human nature to get into the playoffs and maybe exhale a little bit, but. Um, you know, we're pros, and we, that, that has to be – we have to fight that uh, feeling. We have to be brave. We still have to be ourselves. But we have to understand uh, the, the opportunity in front of us. And if we don't, then that, that's on us. Uh, but, yeah, the, you're not wrong. There's, that's why I think in the last couple weeks of the season, you see these wild results. Uh, you see these crazy results where um, – you know, teams that are uh, fighting for their lives come in and every little moment counts and every duel counts and all the details count. And some teams that are jump in the playoffs, uh, it, it's not as desperate. And that, that is something we have to fight uh, and we, it's something we've talked about. And it's just a matter of where do we want to, where do we want to go? You know, what type of team are we and, and what type of mentality? We? So you rely on the guys, just rely on some of the veteran guys to understand that who have been around and been in these situations. Uh, and you, you, you hope on the day uh, we they, they get the message and uh, we, we put our best foot forward. But uh, we're looking forward to it. Again, the Seattle loss probably helps in that way because I think there is uh, we're still a little pissed off about maybe the way we played, uh, and we'd like to respond from that. Uh, Ibrahim Aliou is a big part of the way the team defends. He plays. 
plays great off the ball, puts in a big shift, but he hasn't got on the score sheet much lately. Is there any concerns in his uh, run of form lately? Uh, we've asked him to do a few uh, different things to put himself put himself in in more goal scoring opportunities. Yeah, he's part of it. He's one of our you know again with Anali out and Quinones out and uh, you know Ferreira's profile and and you know there th we just didn't have a lot going into Seattle and he's a big part of that. So uh, he has to continue to do some of the little things to put himself uh, in more dangerous opportunities. So he's not getting it, it's not that he has, it's. He hasn't necessarily scored, but he's not putting himself in the situations to be in those scoring opportunities, right? I, guys miss goals, that's fine. Uh, but there's no excuse not to put yourself in better spots, and he can do it. He was sick last game. Uh, you know, he really struggled through that first half with some illness uh, that, that kind of came on before the game, and at halftime he just couldn't go again. So we'll give him a pass on last game, but uh, we expect a better version of him. This uh, this Wednesday, tomorrow. Thank you so much, Ben. Best of luck. All right. Uh, all right. We have time for one more quick one, Rudy. Go ahead. I just got one. Hey, coach. Um, just how encouraging has it been to see the players that haven't played much, you know, haven't gotten much action, perform well while you know there's others dealing with injuries so late in the season. Like who? Who do you think's playing well? Uh, the one that both they came in, obviously Gaines had come come in, gotten some minutes, yeah. you know, showed some flashes of greatness uh, <laughs> in the minutes that he had. So yeah. just curious and just well, you know, obviously dealing with a lot of injuries. Yeah, we're we're and going. Th yeah, it's a good point. We're, we're going through a little period of uh, we're, we're banged up, and uh, you take two or three guys out, uh, and again, Anali goes out. Now you're just you're you're looking down the bench and saying, okay, who's who's up, who's next, and. And then they get their opportunities, and then they either take them or they don't take them. And uh, you know, certain guys. I think McKenzie's certainly given us real minutes. Uh, he's certainly a threat to get in behind and get some service off. Still looking for more final product from him as as this goes. But we're going to have to rely on him. Uh, and and he's done well. He's really started to train better the last two months. And and. Um, he saw that this is his opportunity. Uh, you know, Gabe's going to help us down the stretch. Uh, uh, Ferreira, even Jan came in, gave us a couple minutes. Brooklyn's going to give us some minutes. Junior Moreno now is going to uh, come into the fold because uh, he's getting uh, fit enough. So it's everybody. Tate, all these guys, Brad, they've all been a part of it. And then uh, they they don't – you don't know. You don't know when it's your turn. So they just need to keep staying sharp at training. And uh, it can be frustrating at times not to get the minutes that they want, uh, but to hang in there because it, it happens quick. Uh, where, where they're on the field in a playoff game and all of a sudden you're relying on them.